Plastic rain is the new reality, and it's worse than acid rain. Every piece of plastic ever made still exists on Earth. It's breaking into microscopic particles too small to see. These fragments are now part of our planet's water cycle. They fall as rain, and we're all breathing them in. Unlike acid rain, there's no fix for this one. Scientists discovered something shocking when they spent 14 months collecting rainwater in U.S. national parks. Every year, over 1,000 metric tons of microplastic particles fall onto these supposedly pristine areas. Even more surprising, 98% of all samples contain plastic particles. We're not talking about city air here. This is happening in places like Joshua Tree and the Grand Canyon. These aren't just random pieces of trash. The majority are microfibers from our clothes and tiny fragments from broken down plastic bottles. Some are so small you need special equipment to see them. But here's the kicker. About 30% of particles found in U.S. parks were microbeads. These tiny spheres were banned from beauty products in 2015. Turns out they're still around. They're likely coming from industrial paints and coatings. The way plastic rain works is fascinating and terrifying. Wind currents pick up plastic particles from cities. They carry them high into the atmosphere. Some get caught in storms and fall with rain. Others, especially the tiniest pieces, can ride the jet stream for hundreds or even thousands of miles. They're lighter than dust, so they travel even farther. Just like Saharan sand can cross the Atlantic to fertilize the Amazon, plastic particles from European cities end up in the Arctic. But unlike sand, plastic never truly disappears. Instead, it keeps breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces. Scientists are finding these particles deep in the ocean. They're embedded in Arctic ice. And now, they're falling from the sky. The particles are so small that researchers worry we're not even seeing the whole picture. Current technology can't detect the tiniest fragments, called nanoplastics, but we're probably breathing those in too. For wildlife, the impact is already showing. One study found that hermit crabs exposed to microplastics have trouble choosing new shells. This is a skill they need to survive. But the broader effects on ecosystems remain largely unknown. Scientists are particularly concerned about nanoplastics. These particles are so small they could potentially enter our cells. The future looks even more concerning. Global plastic waste is expected to jump from 260 million tons to 460 million tons annually by 2030. There's no filter that can remove these particles from our air, water, and soil once they're released. 